Evening YouTubers, this is ERAU PRCWA. Um, I wanted to do this quick video, do a little, I guess, rant really quick. Uh, pretty interesting night. Um, had to stop some stupidity of people doing some very stupid things. Um, I won't go into detail because this is the internet. Once you put it out there, it's out there, um, which I'm learning very well lately. But, um, no, um, no, I wanted to do this video tonight to talk about ignorance and what I have learned throughout my 23 years of life with pe dealing with different types of people. Um, I was talking to a friend of mine tonight, um, you know, a really good friend of mine, um, and he started telling me about some things, uh, I... As you guys know, if you guys have watched some of my videos, you know I've lately started talking about a lot of um, LGBT uh, issues, and I posted a couple videos about it. Well, um, some of those videos have made it to people that I know, especially a lot of people that I went to college with. You know, whatever it is, what it is, um, I put my videos out there, and I want everyone to see it, and especially people that I know, because I I, I like to think that you know, I, I consider myself a pretty normal person. We're, we're all normal. I don't know why I say that. I hate that word normal, too. But I, I consider myself a pretty likable person. You know, I have no enemies, you know, and I get along with everybody. And, you know, the fact that, you know, I'm gay uh, really shouldn't have any bearing on any one relationship that I have with any friends or people that I have come in contact with, my personal opinion. Obviously, in a perfect world, you know, it wouldn't be an issue, but we live in 2011. It still can be an issue with some people. But, you know, I, I will hope, and that's what I want by doing these videos, and it is understanding um, that I am no different than you or the next person or the next person after that. We're all the same. We all eat, sleep, breathe, shit, whatever. We're all the same. But um, my friend, get back to the story. Sorry if I kind of jump around. You know, I have, I'm just kind of doing this video off the cuff. But I talked to my friend tonight, and my videos have gotten around to a lot of people that I know at school. And it's been kind of mixed reactions, I guess you can say. You didn't really go into too much detail about things that people were saying. But it wasn't from his, you know, messages, what he told me. It wasn't the best things. These are people that I know or that know me and, you know, they're, I guess, talking bad about me because it's something that really doesn't make any difference. Like I told him, people are going to be ignorant. It doesn't matter who they are, you know, they're just going to be ignorant. You know, even if they've known me, hung out with me, all that stuff, like me, all that, now that they know that I'm gay, something that really doesn't matter, you know. But what can you do? I'm not out to change people's minds. I'm just out to, you know, promote understanding. Um, you know, I, I don't know what else to say about that. Uh, so far... Fortunately, like I've said in other videos, my coming out when I came out was May 31st, 2011. I consider that, that my coming out date because that's when I told my parents about a week before my birthday. So um, in case they, you know, didn't take the news too well, they still had to call me on my birthday. So I kind of, I, I didn't plan it out, but it just happened to come up that way. But anyway, uh, I consider that my coming out date, and once, because once you tell your parents, it's pretty much downhill after that, in a good way. You know, once you tell your parents, it's, you know, and your parents take it fairly well. They don't disown you, you know. After that, it's, screw it. You know, everybody else in your life is, yeah, important, you know, but at the same time, Let's, let's be honest, you know, you have some friends that are your friends, but if you were to lose your friendship with them, boo-hoo, I'm still going to move on with my life. 
But um, yeah, so far it's been a pretty good experience. I have had to deal with some offsetting comments every now and then, which I just let roll off my shoulders, which isn't, you know, like I said, pe people are going to be ignorant, people are going to be stupid. You know, I just, I try and have a quick wit with everything and just kind of joke around with it a little bit. But, you know, there are still a couple things that make me mad every now and then. But, yeah, it's it's been a pretty good thing thus far, and I've only had to deal with a couple ignorant people, one in particular who threatened to kill me, which that issue got solved right away. But everyone's been pretty good. I haven't really lost any friends over it. A lot of my really close friends have been really supportive. Um, you know, and it's made me better as a person. Because maybe I've explained this in other videos. Um, living in the closet for, uh, you know, 22 years, I'm 23 now, but living in the closet for 22 years, that wears down on you. And I have to deal with depression and a lot of issues, you know, alcoholism. And I think that's where a lot of people in the LGBT community get into a lot of substance abuse problems because you grow up or have to live in an environment where you have to censor yourself. And I personally believe that censorship is really of all evil. If you can't express yourself, then, you know, a part of you is just going to explode eventually and not in a good, good way. So um, that kind of, that kind of happened with me a little bit, but I'm starting to accept myself more, love myself more, and hopefully other people love me too. And if they don't, I don't have time for you in my life. I I have so many other people who are very supportive of me that if you can't, I don't need you. And like I said before, and I've said it many times throughout my life, if you don't like me then something's wrong with you because I'm a lovable guy. Everyone loves me. I don't care how egotistical that is, but it's true. <laughs> you know, I'm a good good person. And I try and be a good person and friend to everybody. So, um, yeah, leave your comments below. Uh, yeah, just doing an off-the-cuff video again. And hopefully I stay to the point of what I was trying to say in this video. But... You know, a couple shout outs to people, Depp Fox, Are You Surprise, Exploration B, um, Case Closet, it, you know, there's, you know, a lot of people who's coming out on the internet now who are taking, who are, who are kind of taking the effect of, um, taking the effect, I don't know what I'm saying, but trying to uh, basically do videos like Are You Surprised, which, you know, his way of doing videos it was very creative and it helped him come out and I'm pretty sure he didn't expect what he got when he started his first video so um, as for all you guys love all you guys and you know come out when you're ready uh, it's definitely not easy and I won't say it gets easier but you know, and I won't try and be cliche with the whole it gets better thing. I've already done that video. But um, I, I will say that it does take time and you can't, you, can't ex you can't expect other people to accept you if you don't accept yourself and love yourself. So love yourself, accept yourself because nothing is wrong with you. You are beautiful and you are a human being and that's what matters the most. All right. Bye, everyone.